Hi, I'm Deborah Furr. This is ETF TV, and today we're going to be speaking about the Israeli market. Joining me today is Gregoire Berti, Head of Product and ETF Index Solutions for Lixor International Asset Management. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. So Lixor has just listed an ETF in Tel Aviv. Can you tell us a bit about the product and why you decided to list there? We have started listing our first ETF in Tel Aviv last week on 20th of April. It's a ETF aiming at tracking robo and AI index, which is part of our thematic range. We entered into uh, the ETF Israeli market four years ago with a partnership with 4Earth, which is our local distributor, mainly aiming at reaching institutional clients who can trade ETF outside of Israel in international stock exchanges. And we have seen a very interesting growth in the market, reaching now more than 30 billion of assets in foreign ETF. And listing locally is a natural evolution for us. A thematic ETF actually aims at capturing a long-term cycle a theme by opposition with sectors, which are more short-term tactical location. So it better suits our main investor base, which are wealth managers and retail investors who want to have less volatility and long-term cycle, long-term investment. So we'll continue the listings in the coming weeks and months with other ETF in our thematic range. We currently have digital economy, water, new energy. So we'll uh, offer a comprehensive range for the local market. Up until recently, it wasn't possible to bring foreign ETFs to Israel. All of the local products used to be notes. They recently changed them. Can you talk a little bit about how that happened and when it happened? The initiative came from the local authority, which now allows having dual listing for companies. If they are listed in one of their partnering stock exchanges, for example, NASDAQ or NAS or Hong Kong Stock Exchange or LSE in Europe. So whatever company is listed on one of these exchanges, it's possible to be eligible for listing in Tel Aviv. So actually our ETF being actually a CCAP or ICAP, so companies listed on LSE, you can apply for a dual listing, which is a very simple process as long as you meet certain criteria like size of liquidity or track record. This is changing the framework of the investments in Israel because these ETF, which could be only offered to institutional investors, Israeli institutional investors, are now offered to every single Israeli investor from tier two institutional player or even retail investors. What are your plans for the rest of 2021 beyond just Israel? Can you talk generally about your focus for the rest of the year? Of course, so we'll continue working on our main pillars within X or ETF, which are ESG and climate, thematic investment, and core investments. As we are actually looking at long-term investors like wealth managers, who are the, the, obviously the growing part of the investment base on the ETF in Europe and all over the world, these investment areas are the ones matching their needs, long-term investment. So when we are talking about ESG and climate, and we are talking about several ranges in our offer that we are still expanding. When we talk about thematic, we currently have seven, eight thematic ETF, including green bond, for example, but also millennials, digital economy, water, new energy. And we also extend our core range, products easily accessible at a low price, Vanilla indices to every investor as market access products, which are currently mainly on the equity side, will be extended to the fixed income side with a very simple Govis product. That's great. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. In other news, we saw 20 new ETFs listing last week. They were from 16 different issuers. Some of the interesting things that happened last week quarter of all the listings were in the crypto or digital space. So we saw another Bitcoin product. We saw three Ether products and one Ethereum. So Ether would be the second largest digital currency with about 290 billion in assets. Bitcoin has about a trillion. We also saw that Advisor Shares has listed a restaurant and hotel ETF. So they're really banking on the idea that we are recovering from the pandemic and people are going to go back to eating out and traveling. The other products that have come to market are, as we heard, thematics, a little bit of China, 
and a little bit of leverage and inverse last week. But we definitely are seeing, especially in Canada, the advent of a lot of digital products coming from Evolve, from 3IQ, and from Purpose, and also CI. So we've seen a number of new issuers launching products in Canada, and that really has become kind of the hotbed of ETFs that are providing exposure to digital. So thank you for joining us. If you're interested in more details on the products that have been listed this week or want to watch previous episodes, go to etftv.net and you can subscribe to get our newsletter. Thank you.